The last thing we need to do when we set up a new content type is to configure the paths. Click on Configuration. And because we've already installed Token and Path Auto, you'll see down here a link called URL Aliases. Go ahead and click on that. We're going to set up our pattern for the hotel content type we just created. Click Add Path Auto Pattern. Choose Content. And go ahead and type in Hotel. Click Browse Available Tokens. And you'll see that the node token here for the title of the node is down here under node colon title. You can either copy that or just click on it and it'll insert it into the pattern. Choose the content type of hotels and give it a label of hotel. You'll notice the machine name is hotel. Click Save. All right, let's go ahead and add one content item to our new content type. Click on Content, Add Content, and click on Hotels. And let's call this Hotel Drupal. Now, if you have a lorem ipsum generator, you can just throw some text in here. I'm just going to put a couple of sentences in. Of course, we're going to use Devel to generate some text later on. We won't worry about it. Over here on the right, Create New Revision. URL path settings, authoring information, and promotion options. These are already set for us simply because of the way we set up our content type. Okay, click Save and Publish. Now that we have our Hotel Drupal here, go ahead and click back on Configuration and take a look at URL aliases. And you'll see now that Hotel slash Hotel dash Drupal is the alias for node slash two, because this is the second node that we've created. Indeed, if I go back over to my site and I look at the URL, it's my site slash hotel slash hotel dash Drupal. Congratulations, you've set up a custom content type and you've set up the patterns and created your first content item. We're well on our way to building our site.